When it comes to tools in Kingdom Harmony, one of my favorites is actually the line tool, especially when it comes to tracing. It's because my hand skills aren't that great, so I can just use uh, things like the line tool to just come in and do this really cool work and just kind of come in and clean up, do some nice little ink work pretty quickly and stay on model. So this is what I want to show you exactly how to go about doing. How do I keep messing it up? Uh, how to go about doing this inside of Tomb Boom Harmony. Let go of the mouse, let go of the keyboard. How are you still missing that one line there? Let's pull you up a little bit there. Cool. But how do you get this to uh, get your lines just to get that really nice curve quality there and pretty much trace something pretty quickly, even if your drawing skills aren't up to par. This is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com and I'm gonna show you uh, in this little quick tutorial how to, one, import some artwork and then go ahead and start tracing it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first and foremost, I wanna go up to I can either do file, come down to import and import images, or I typically just use my little import images icon there. And this is from my friend and colleague, Mr. Mike Milo. I think that's a caricature of him. It looks like him. Uh, and, and if that's not you, don't mean that as an insult. <laughs> so I'm going to import this as a Toon Boom bitmap drawing. I generally do this because it does give me the most uh, play if I had need to edit this later. And as far as alignment, I'll just do a vertical fit, meaning it'll fit within uh, a little sizing there. And I'll just go ahead and hit return. And what I have here is the drawing. That's pretty cool. I'm going to lock this layer. And I wanna go to my drawing layer here. And one thing, instead of me trying to drop the opacity of this uh, image, I can actually come over here to the light table. I'll turn this on. And what the light table does is it drops the opacity of whatever layer you're not on. So if I go back to the original or go back to a different layer here, let me unlock that real quick. If I go to the original, you see it's actually fully opaque. If I go to the drawing layer, it's dropped down. So meanwhile, I'll come over to my shape tools. Let's go to the line tool. And I'm going to go over to my tool properties because there are a couple of things I want to check out. One, I almost always just use a generic line when I'm working on things. I can always come back in later and give it the texture that I want it to have. Uh, but a couple of things I want to take a look at. Uh, one, in Toon Boom Harmony Premium, there's the line building tool. This comes in handy a lot. And basically what that means is if I start drawing out a line, and start drawing another line with that. Notice how, I'm just gonna do this almost off here, just how it's starting to build up these little things without it. Um, there we go. Uh, so it's actually kind of building on top of itself. The other thing is, I do wanna go ahead and turn on my snapping. And the one trick I'll show you, and I'll show you this kind of the, uh, the nice, Mike, dude, the, the little bean, little kidney bean thing that you got going on here in the S curve is really sweet. Um, so one thing I'll show you is this. So if I click this line, I'm going to drag this out. And let's go. I think I can probably get this to go here, maybe. Uh, well, maybe there. Um, and on my keyboard, I'm going to hold down my command key. That would be control on PC. And that's going to allow me to bend this line exactly how I want it to go. All right, let go of the mouse, let go of the keyboard. And what I'm gonna do next is I think I can get away with this little section here. So hold on my, I'm gonna click and drag this out. Now, notice this is actually snapping, that's pretty cool. Hold on my command key, and then I can start to round that out a little bit. All right, not too shabby probably redo that let's pull that line again so click 
I go here, hold down my command key, and that's control on PC. I go on the mouse, I go to the keyboard. And from there, uh, this is one of the examples I want to do because it's one of the, I guess, one of the more difficult lines or uh, really curving lines. But I was able to do that even with a line tool. Now, the other part that I like to do, uh, I'm going to use a shortcut key. If I hold down my O key on my keyboard, I can click and drag and change the size of this. So, for instance, I think the size of that line is about right there. And let me go over here and see what that looks like. It says 13.6, so let's round up, maybe make it a 15. See what that looks like. So if I use a 15 line weight, and by the way, did I have to redraw that? No, I'll show you that in a second. So let's go. Looks good. Now, if I think, hmm, that's a little bit too thick, um, I can do always do the following. I can select that. That's now that's one solid line. And I can come over here and go, what if we tried that at 12? All right, not too bad. Also, this little bump here looks a little weird. So I can still come in and click here and adjust my direction handles. Hold on my Option key, Alt on PC. So see if I need to adjust it a little bit there. And I can also, again, with the contour editor, just kind of move my cursor close to the lines and adjust it that way as well. So I'm gonna go through here and speed through this without talking. So uh, see you in a minute. Alrighty, so one of the other things I'll show you is because we do have the little magnet or snapping turned on, I can kind of click this and pull up little points so I can close off little areas, go back to my line tool. And a couple of things you'll, uh, you've probably seen me doing in a uh, sped up version. I'm using my scroll wheel on my mouse so I can zoom in and out. And the cool part is wherever you place your cursor, that's where it will zoom in. And of course, using my hand tool when needed to move things around. Let's go here. Now, of course, I'm not trying to animate this. I'm just giving a demonstration of how you can use your line tool, like and really how you make that work and use all the little shortcuts here. Mm, that's a three. Now, this one, I almost want to actually grab my other tool for, all right, that's a little pencil tool. Um, let's go back to line tool. That looks like we can get away with one, looks good. I'm gonna do one here as well. I'm gonna come down to the line, little eyelash. Let's bring that down to the cheek. But yeah, and this is just a really cool way of going about uh, cleaning up some or doing your uh, inking. And if I was going to uh, work on filling this, what I could do is uh, if I press the letter K, it'll show me anywhere that I have large openings in anything. Now I could close these manually, but I'm going to go in and do, or excuse me, there's a little shortcut to do this, but I do want to come in here and just handle that manually, close off some of those. Um, and I do like having little gaps here. So I'm going to do a little trick here. Let's go to under paint, come down to stroke and I can connect these. I know better. I can connect these. Now, if I really wanted it to work, I can use uh, not stroke. What is it? Close gap. Close gap is going to give me a straight line between those two. Let's 
see, did I get that? Cool. And now, can you do that little uh, fill uh, wide gaps? Yeah, you can. But my thing that I love to do is create those large um, holes that make it look like you've actually just drawn stuff out by hand. Now, uh, where's the rest of this little guy? Press K, get rid of those lines for a minute. And I'll turn off my magnet here, or my snapping rather. It's like, I wonder, does this generation even know what that looks like? I mean, do they still sell magnets that look like that? So let's go in, get it up. But yeah, you get the hang of it. Now, one thing I do want to share with you, um, one of my favorite parts of this, let's go. Uh, I'm going to give this little guy some texture, give these lines some texture, and this is after the fact. <laughs> All right, so let's give... <laughs> now, um, am I overlapping some things? Yes, but that is another tool. I'll talk about it really briefly. But uh, under the select tool, we've got the cutter tool. I'm going to zoom in here and I can just kind of go through and get those little extra spaces out of there. All right, let's go there under the eyes. Great. Now, I didn't do the feet, but here's the trick. Um, I can select all these, go to my select tool. Let's grab everybody. And over in my tool properties, let's scroll all the way down. At the bottom, there's like textures here. And my favorite texture to do is grain. And the reason is um, it looks like an actual pencil drew that. So it's kind of cool. So not too shabby. That is the line tool. And if uh, I'm really going to be setting this up for animation, I would probably make sure my lines are on one layer, my fills are on a separate layer. Um, let's turn it back on for a minute. I do want to do one little cleanup gap. Let's do K. I'm going to do a close gap here. Just to make that little line. I think that's it. Um, but the thing I wanted to share with you is this. So uh, let's go here. Press the letter K, turn it off. Um, I'll turn off the drawing. I've got line art here. If I come over to this little icon, it'll say create color art from line art. So I can click that. What that basically means is, let me go to my drawing view. Um, this is line art. If I click the art layer here, color art, this means, hey, color is on a different area, meaning I can come in. I haven't set up any weird colors yet, but let's grab this little guy. Eh, that'll work. Skin one. And we'll do a plus and give him a I don't know, purple, blue shirt, something. Let's call it shirt 01. All right. So the idea is uh, grab my paint tool and I can click to fill that in. Let's fill the section in. And let's go with skin. And can I fill that in? Yes. Cool. It's there. I didn't fill in the rest of the um, face there, but. We go back to line. So line art is actually separate from that. Dude, let's do some hair. Da, 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 da. Thank you. Yeah, let's call it something complicated like hair. But yeah, anyway, this is not about painting. It's supposed to be about doing the... Um, dude, are your gaps on pretty large? Um, it's basically about doing... Uh, working with a line tool. And that's what I wanted to show off a bit and show you just exactly how clean you can get things. Even if like I've been doing this whole thing with a mouse, I'm not even using a stylus or anything. So 
It's a pretty cool little trick. And I've been doing that on the wrong layer. Bad, Tony. <laughs> but yeah, you should be feeling that in on collar layer, but you get the idea. And that's the line tool. Now, if you've enjoyed this, please like and share. Give us a thumbs up. And also letting you know, we are constantly doing little weekend workshops. These are live tutorials and demos where you can ask questions, ask to repeat things. And you also get a copy of the files and you can sign up for those in the link in the description. We have a workshop coming up. And this workshop is Rigging 101, where we show you how to work with the node view if it's ever been intimidating. No big deal on that because we got you covered. This workshop is your friendly guide. It's just 90 minutes and I'll show you how to no navigate the node view with confidence, build your own character rigs from scratch. And there's even a bonus. I'm going to also show you how you can import and rig characters that were created in Adobe Illustrator or even flash or animate. So seats are limited, sign up today and see how you can put your characters and put your characters in harmony and get those rigged. This has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, make art, not excuses. So go make something. Have a good one. 15.